this game is fucking beautiful. I'll be able to explore all of that. Glad you can make it. Lucan's just over there. Yeah. Revelio. Got it. All right. Eighty experience for that. Can I help you? Yeah. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones, a dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. Maybe, maybe. Oops, I'm nice. flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does Cross Wands work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Almost, but not quite. Yeah, I'll join. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Cross Ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Sure. Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! will make you regret signing up. Can you see it around? Break through yellow shields with control spells like Levio Sue. Uh, target R3 to track enemies without aiming. on fire. Just guys. Sign up for a round. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Yeah. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Thank you. Hope to see you back here again. Revelio. Where's that? My locked door, locked door. Oh, there's a chest here. Crimson Quidditch gloves. Oh, giving me plus four offense. No upgrades can be applied. It's a level three superb. <laughs> I like the black leather gloves, though. Yeah. No trait has been applied. Oh, and I like the look of those, actually. I'm level three now, so. That should be something. It's a viper unicorn horse thing? Oh. Levioso! Akio! Interesting. Lumos! Interesting. Alright. 
Nothing yet? Okay, cool. Well, alright, now that that's done, quests. Yes, that's all the quests. Requires to be level 2 to get there. Cool. Now where is she? Is she somewhere I can fast travel to? Well, I mean, kind of. No, that's not what I wanted. Untrack. Keep pressing the wrong button. That fire flame, thank you. Can't you. imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. You invented flu powder? Oh, hi, cat. I'm good to pet the kitty. Nothing like the subtle uh, purrs through a microphone. Rebellion. Well, let me reset her desk. I don't know. It's up to you, man. I think it'd be funny if you kept him. Begin quest. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. The rule? Oh, <laughs> Excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Has a Professor Fig said anything? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, <laughs> you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Great. <sighs> yeah. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, Regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. With my you perfect your wand. Your is well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're Diagon fortunate Alley. to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. All right. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. Oh. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Okay. Let me tell me about Can the potions. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. Oh, well then, let's not keep it waiting. Let's fucking go. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Yeah. Um... 
a tough choice. Hmm. Let's go with Natty. Let's go with Natty. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh. We reverse your own reviews your first assignment, which is a scroll. Assignments are types of quests that give you by the Hogwarts professors that, when completed, grant you with a new spell. Reward to complete your first assignment by the Mending Charm of Paro, which required to complete other quests. You can track this. Okay. Four Eye Spectacle. Rebellion. There it is. Transfigured teacup, likely the soon to be revered error of a second year, serves as a ca cautionary tale for those students who do not take seriously the complexities and dangers of transfiguration. Oh, is there anything else? No? Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Now, what do I have to do? Learn repair from pressure run. Well, then let's... Oh, it's like right here. So, have you ever wondered how ours know where? Oh, it's like ah, there you are. Paper cranes? You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed, I do. And an exceedingly useful one at that the mending charm Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. We will have you casting Rapero in no time. Was... Why must I first complete tasks to learn Rapero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. All right. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. What is the task? Collect a flying page near the broken statue. Collect a flying page in defense against magic arts. Okay. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Got it. Got yeah, that one. This is the. Dark Arts Tower. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Brilliant. Well, there's only a. F I, there's a couple. I've already seen a couple. Alright. Now what, sir? I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. 
You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. I saw the square. This is a very unique way of learning the spell. Okay. Bendy Chab apparently can be used to mend broken objects and pieces in the environment. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Repair her. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> Repairer. Yeah. Oh, quite nice. Whilst I'm impressed by your wand work, I would suggest you set your aim a bit further from your professor. Okay. Akio. Can't attack the owl. It's a level one lock. The level one locks must mean something. There's a there's a door here. Oh yes. Twenty one seventeen. Oh uh, wait. Okay. Okay. Fuck, what was the other number? Okay, so Unicorn is 11. Oh, hey. Let me see. That's not what I meant, but... That's what I meant. Other Rebellion. There's a statue right out here. Did I miss you? I did miss you. Let me Give me that. Give me that page. Give me that page. Give me it. Give me it. Boom, I leveled up. Plus 20 HP. Have to figure out that puzzle later. I mean, that's cool and everything. Oh, Rebellion. Central Hall Fountain. The ordinate fountain features intricately carved statues of denizens and the magical world, including a set of stone sirens encircling a fountain's base. Yes. Hello, Lenora. What are you looking at? Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Yeah? Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. 
as good a place as any to begin. Yeah. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Am I okay? If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Lumos, huh? Do come Lumos. and find me if you stumble on something. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. The egg. Okay, I'm looking for the egg next to the staircase. I could want the green. This yeah. looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Uh -huh. Revelio. Accio. Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Oh, okay. I understand. <laughs> I knew there was a connection. I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. And I will. And there we go, caught all the field guys here in Hogwarts. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I'm not telling you. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to overexplain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. Yeah. The moth. I should have seen that. I got the Cobalt Regalia. Complete relationship quests. So many side conversations here. Rebellion. Did I saw something? Am I? Am I dumb? I think I'm dumb. It's fine now. Looking for me? I was, and I saw this. Flat end armor. A set of armor belonged to Sir Scaliathrope the he the Heedless, who unwisely challenged a mountain troll to a game of muscular ch musical chairs. Revelio. Broken broom. Celine Wartnerby, who is rumored to be all that remains after that she insisted on demonstrating her exemplary lunar apparition charm to fellow third years. No one knows if she succeeded or not. Leveled up again. Now level five. There's a chest right around the corner here. You have 42 gold out of that. Revelio. Lumos. Well, I don't like how that. Well, let's just go. <coughs> I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. Yes. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first rate Hogsmeade experience. Good.
I love how everyone's expression goes from <coughs> happy, joyous smiles, instant dead face. It's just the front yard, damn it. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a better be in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. That's fair. Yeah, when they How say this is open world. This time of year, everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. No, you did not. Oh, wait, over here. Oh, I often spot yeah. lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. I got lacewing flies. <laughs> Little honking flowers. Look, from the forbidden forest, hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors oh. that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. You know, Forbidden Forest is kind of like, um, redundant, I guess, when it comes to names. It's like, why? Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Likely already named them, too. Prance, Hoof, and Sugarfoot. That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Yeah, but why, why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think they're calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. Which one? I heard flapping. I just want to know where. I just want to see a hippogriff, damn it. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively yeah. new here. She said that? Mm. Oh. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say. Well, I certainly learn a great deal in class. Much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. I just wanted to see if she got mugged. Alright. So. I totally forgot what I was about to say. I ain't gonna lie. Well, I am starting. I'm starting to nod off again. How are you settling in? Oh, fan, fucking passing. Followed my arrival, feeling quite strange. Why is that? Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? 
I still miss my homeland. But it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts mm. has become something of a home now, I would say. Bounce. Hopefully it will for you too. Bounce. <sighs> Stupid quest. Fine. We'll do that later. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Ew. Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, ugly and airy and mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Oh, Mr. Moon, a Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will it, say that I have never seen him in such a state. He has had probably one too many butterbeers, huh? There's much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they Oops, are about goblins buddy. and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. Yeah. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Yeah, that's why I chose a nutty. Plus, she's a Grimdor. Slytherins are great at potion makings, but when it comes to, like, here. All right, we're about to enter Hogsmeade now. Um, I'm going to let you know right now, uh, I am starting to nod off. So this is going to be a good place to stop. Um, I got a lot of thoughts here. Uh, so I'm going to save here. I've been playing for about two hours, and I'm already having a fantastic time. Uh, so we're going to continue this in the morning when I wake up, uh, but as of right now, I am tired and going to go to bed. So I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and all the wonderful, fabulous things. And if you're watching this over on YouTube, don't forget to come and watch this live over at twitch.tv slash where you can yell at me at everything I've done wrong, or you can tell me about your fabulous experiences at Hogwarts as well. Tell me what households you... Uh, again, for those of you who have played or, you know what, for those of you that like doing the online tests or just tell me your favorite house in general. Tell me which house you belong to in the comments below. And I will see all you beautiful guppies in the next one. I hope you guys have a fantastic night. Good night, guys.